What's up guys, it's Remax bringing you guys a brand new video, and today I'm going to be playing some Black Ops 2 Free For All. Uh, don't mind my emblem, I, I, just, I just took it from somebody. Yeah, so, if you guys didn't know already, Black Ops 3 got announced, and it looked amazing. Like, that game, oh my goodness, I think I'm in love with that game. I didn't think you could be in love with a Call of Duty, but I'm, I think I'm legitimately in love with that Call of Duty. It looks so nice honestly and i'm not just saying it based on how i see that game i'm seeing it based on how like pro players and youtubers see that game if you guys didn't watch the e3 conference if you guys didn't see the e3 conference there was a whole bunch of pro players and youtubers invited to play the next call of duty which is black ops 3 and they all said it felt amazing it kind they all said it kind of felt like Ghost and Black Ops 2 mixed together. Like the first build of the game when T Martin, Drifter, and Jericho, specifically all of them, went to play it, they said it, it felt uh, more like Black Ops 2. But now, and the pro players that were invited to play Black Ops 2 were Karma, Parasite, and Nate Shot. And also, there were a few MLG personnel like Maven, I think Pocket there as well. They all said that the game was really well built and really well balanced. They enjoyed playing it, and they said it felt like a regular Black Ops 2. They felt they reminded them of the feel of Black Ops 2 and all that. So, if you guys have an Xbox One, there's some huge news regarding that. If you guys already don't know, which I'm guessing most likely you guys, the majority of you guys know. So the Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 games will be backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So what that means is all your favorite CODs, all your favorite games on the Xbox 360 will eventually be backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So that means you can put the disc in the Xbox One and just play it. Or you could just download them from the Xbox Marketplace and just play them on the Xbox One. Now they gave out a list for certain games that's already backwards compatible and None of the CODs were in there yet, but I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they will be in there. They did that, they're thinking about remastering it. They, they know they have community support, they have the community backing them to make those CODs because those CODs were just game changing. Because those CODs were just iconic and it will bring back a feel of nostalgia. Honestly, one game that I really want to see remastered on the one is either Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1. Those games were on point. Those games were by far, I wouldn't say by far, but it, it's really high up there. Black Ops 2 is probably, yeah, it has to be. Black Ops 2 has to be my favorite Call of Duty and Black Ops 1 has to be up there. I thought it was second. It was such a good game. I really loved it. So guys, the relegation tournament of MLG Season 3 happened last weekend, and this is the first time in Call of Duty history where the legend, the great player, Patty P, that's Aches, he hasn't made it into the MLG season. So he plays for a team called Prophecy during the relegation tournament, and they didn't make it. They, they did not make it into Season 3. This is the first time ever in COD history. Him and I wouldn't even say good player. It's a championship caliber player. It's um, Apathy. He didn't make it either. I, I actually can't believe it. Also, some other big news. You know, Parasite? Par he, you guys all know him for being like ridiculously good for uplink and search and all that. He's an E6. He plays for E6 now. He's not in the MLG Pro season, but he plays for E6. That is just incredible. I can't believe he joined E6. God damn it, this kid has shot. This kid, did this kid hit a shot? Did it? Oh shit, did he? Oh, I just he probably hit it on him. No, he didn't. Oh. What the hell was that? Retarded kid. E6, they were some amateur team that came up in the open bracket at UMG Cali. And they, they took out some big name teams. I can't remember off, off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure they took out uh, Elevate and... AR or TR, one of those two. No, I'm not too sure. Also, they took Optic to the most intense game four ever on uh, Retreat CTF. That was the most intense CTF I have ever seen in my entire life. I still can't believe Optic won that. I thought Optic was gonna choke and t uh, E6 was gonna take him to a game five. I was really, honestly, if I saw a game five between Optic and E6, that, that would probably be insane. I'm pretty sure E6 won the search like. 6-1 or 6-2, something ridiculous like that against Optic. Ooh, carrier with four people, yeah. Oh, four people. Oh, let's go. Let's shut up. This is my lobby, bitch. 
Guys, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened, but my Elgato didn't record that guy's voice when I was arguing with. That argument lasted three or four games. He was just being retarded. I'm really mad. I'm actually so pissed my Elgato didn't freaking pick up his voice. My, the audacity, like, the audacity, like, a program picked up my voice. And that's what I use to record my voice, but I rely on the Elgato to pick up his voice, and for some reason it didn't. Uh, I don't know, but nevertheless, if you guys enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like. Commenting's always nice. If you really want, subscribe. And this has been your boy Remex. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm out. Later. Oh, real quick. I have an insane gameplay lined up for tomorrow. It's from an 8th lobby. It's some insane hardpoint on last map. It was a hardpoint only 8th. We went to last map. And your boy, your boy, just went to work. So watch out for that tomorrow. And I'm out. Later. Yeah.